If we start learning something new, we always want to be perfect at it right away. So for example, if you start learning numbers in a foreign language, you can't just stop with one, two and three. You want to know all of them. If you want to study the conjugations and tenses of a new language, then for example, in English, you can't stop after knowing already the forums I am and we are. You are investing hours and hours into researching how the whole conjugation system works and just with a single purpose, to know how everything functions and to be perfect. And if you haven't learned all of it, then having a conversation in the foreign language like English is not possible because you are not ready. Now, based on research, such is the way how an average English learner thinks. And to be honest with you, it's one of the main reasons why so many people fail in learning English. In this video, we will discover how such an perfectionist approach holds you back in your English studies and what to do instead to be more successful in your daily language learning process. Now, if you really think about it, then, you know, being perfect at something before you start actually doing something or you know using some skills is not a very human-like behavior. For centuries and thousands of years, we have always you know, started doing something, made mistakes, learned from them and so forth. Plus, research shows that making mistakes is the best way to learn something new. Perfectionists experience analysis paralysis, so to say. And to be honest, they are in quite a difficult situation. They want to be perfect before they start using their skills, but they can't get there because they are not ready to make mistakes. They are basically working against themselves and hence they get stuck. And that's what research tells us as well. Most English learners won't start learning the language because they think that it will take years and years of study and hence they believe that it's better not to even start. We don't have to search far for the answers where does such a need for perfection come from. This roots from the school system because the usual traditional school system ingrains in uh, all of us that we need to at all costs avoid <laughs> making mistakes. This in turn has programmed into ourselves a deep fear of making mistakes because the less mistakes you do, the better the grade you get in the school system. And hence we want to be perfect at something before starting to use these skills because then the probability of making mistakes is the lowest. Just think about it, how a usual language test emphasizes, you know, the 20% that is wrong in red ink and doesn't emphasize any of the 80% that is correct. Now let's ask ourselves a question. What would happen if we would start emphasizing the 80% that is correct instead in green ink, for example? What if we started to use this 80% that the students get correct and start using them in real life conversations instead of fear mongering the learners with the 20% that is incorrect? Well, the answer is simple. The students would be encouraged to start using the language instead of trying to be perfect and trying to avoid making mistakes at all costs. Now, this might sound weird to you, but most polyglots, meaning people who speak many, many languages, always say that this is one of the main things that has helped them become polyglots by today. It is not being afraid of making mistakes and not worrying about, you know, understanding everything and understanding all the rules and etc. But just starting to use the language with a lot of courage. Now, what do I mean by that? 
Firstly, all successful language learners and polyglots surround themselves with the language on a daily basis, be it with podcasts, speakly listening exercises, or something else. Most successful polyglots would even say that before learning any words or rules or anything else, they would start for weeks listening to the language to train their ears with this new foreign language. Now, all this would be a nightmare for a perfectionist because they wouldn't understand what they are listening to. Hence, it sounds something that is very inefficient. But in reality, it's one of the best things to do. Now, in this following clip, you will see the polyglot Laura Maliszewska discuss exactly that. Just listening and then doing some exercises just for 10 minutes can really make a lot of difference, especially if you do it daily and consistently. Wow, you, you cannot beat that. Now, second, all polyglots understand that not all words and phrases are created equal. It means that some of the words and sentences are used more and most are used very seldomly. That's exactly what Speakly does as well. It teaches you only the most important words and sentences that you need for your daily conversations. And that's incredibly important in reaching fluency in language like English, for example. Now, here's a little clip from the polyglot Lindy Boats, where Lindy discusses exactly that. What I do is I try and um, learn a basic grammar structure first, learn a few vocabularies here and there, um, and, and try to create my own sentences up front and then practice using that with people. So I'm going to sound like a broken record or sound really stupid at the beginning, um, but I try and decide what I want to talk about first. So I take the topic I want to talk about, I use the little bit that I have, I build my confidence in being able to communicate to some extent, and then I learn over time. As an English learner, knowing everything about the grammar of the language before starting to practice the language in real life seems very nice and enticing, but actually it's not a good strategy at all. You need to be vulnerable. You need to start using the language, even if you only know like 100 words, 200 words in Speakly, for example, and you will get to the perfect grammar much, much later and maybe never. So be imperfect instead of being perfect and start learning the most important words and sentences of the language together with Speakly and know that this is the best way of building up your language skills.